So camera monitors can be extremely useful in a lot of different situations, but bigger external monitors can be really significantly useful in situations like this, when you're a production crew of one and you're in front of the camera yourself. Now, flippy screens are great, but if you're a bit further away from the camera itself and the camera screen sizes being so small, and especially if you have the eyesight of a rhino, that's right, look it up. Everything tends to get a bit too cramped. So having a larger monitor to look at can be so extremely useful. And that is why I use something like this. Now, my first thought was, of course, to just use the companion apps from the different brands, but those aren't that great. They're great for photography, but there are a lot of issues when it comes to videography. For example, Sony's app, Imaging Edge, isn't available on older Android devices. Canon's app, while it is available, doesn't support video at all. And the rest of them, if they do support video, they don't tend to support picture profiles. So that doesn't work. So I needed something else. So the way to make this work is complicated, but not. Regardless, it works. What you need to do this is an HDMI out cable for your camera, whatever it is. If, if it's a mini, get a mini. If it's a full on HDMI, get a full on HDMI. And then you need an HDMI to USB small capture card. One of those cheapo things that you can get on Amazon for like $12 will work. And then you need a USB to either USB-C or micro USB adapter, depending on the one that you have. Make sure that the adapter supports OTG. And I'll touch on the USB-C thing a bit later. And then of course you need a tablet. Any tablet will do as long as it supports USB OTG. If you don't know if your tablet supports it, then just Google your tablet model number and USB OTG. But if it's even relatively modern, it usually does support it. Now, after you connect all of those different pieces, you need to go to the Play Store or your App Store on iOS and download a USB OTG app. Now, there aren't too many of them and basically they're all crap, <laughs> but we're going function way over form here. And then, well, then you're done. Now your camera sees your tablet as a display. So it has an HDMI connection. Then you can vary the cable length to whatever need you have. Keep in mind that longer cables might introduce problems, but if you need, you can theoretically get a longer distance as well. So you can get your monitor closer or further away from you than you want. Now that you have a bigger screen, you can do things like spot things on your shirt that have been there the whole time, but now you can actually see that in your live feed. Now, granted the quality isn't great, but in my case, it will function well enough that I can use this as a temporary camera monitor until I can get an actual one. Since I had all of these pieces at home, this cost me literally zero euros or dollars. It cost me zero money. Now, of course, if you don't have a tablet, don't do this because you can get a camera monitor for cheaper than a tablet. But if you have an extra tablet or you have a tablet in general that you can use, go for it. The cables themselves don't cost that much. So it's a relatively cheap way to get a bigger monitor for this use. And it works wonders. Of course, as some newer cameras support USB-C connection, like video through USB-C, then just get a USB-C to USB-C cable. That will work way better than this. And cutting out all the extra parts in the middle is always better. But this is still a relatively good and cheap, possibly cheap way to get something that you might need. And for me, this is an essential part of my setup right now. So I thought I'd help you help you guys out if you need something like this. Here's an idea. Here's something you can try. Okay, but this if this video helps you out in any way, you can tell me by clicking that like button and leaving a comment. Or if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them, but this can get complicated, so I might not be able to help you. 
But since we're back now, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos regarding photography, content creation, and all the stuff like that. But that's all that I have for you this time. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye-bye.